here in Nether Alderley stands the beautiful church, the ancient church of St Mary's. However, dating back to the 14th century, most of the medieval fabric has long since gone. In the Doomsday Book of 1086, the name of Alderedi is mentioned, that being the town known as Alderley. Also, in other documents dated to Edward III, they also mention Alderley too. But it's St Mary's Church here in Nether Alderley that is steeped in history and stories from our past. Today, I'm going to take you around the churchyard and give you a tour of St Mary's and tell you some of those stories. Now today, the church is dedicated to St Mary, but in ancient times, the church was once dedicated to that of St Lawrence. Now there have been many events recorded at this ancient church in the past and one notably in the 18th century when the church wardens and the vicar were to fall out and ancient documents were destroyed. One member of the clergy was heard to mutter it was a really sorry state of affairs. It's here as we enter the churchyard and through the gates that we find on our left an extremely rare 17th century schoolhouse. Once a place of education, today it stands unused as a school. Now here, high on the wall behind me, is a dedication stone carved in the year 1694 to celebrate Hugh Shaw who built this building in 1628. As I travel through the churchyards of Cheshire, I find many medieval crosses that have been cut down to this height. Known as stumped, but why? Well, the reason was an Act of Parliament in the 17th century that insisted that every single cross should be cut down to a required height. The Puritans certainly didn't like crosses in the Cheshire churchyards. It was in the year of 1598 when a feud was to break out here at St Mary's between two families, the Stanleys and the Fittons. The eastern end of the South Isle once belonged to both families, however the ownership of this part of the church became bitterly contested by the families right at the end of the 16th century. In 1598 a member of the Stanley family wrote that on the 24th of February, known as Matthias Day, that his chapel was cut down at night. A huge row was to erupt between himself and Sir Edward Fitton of nearby Galsworth. Indeed, he stated that this man had a reputation and truly deserved the name of a fighting Fitton. Well, the row was finally settled when it was agreed that the Fittons would take the ground floor whilst the Stanleys used the upper floor. It's interesting to note that the Fittons memorial seat that once stood in this church has long since disappeared in time. Now one extremely interesting fact and a great story was to start here in the churchyard in the year of 1821. For it was here in 1821 that a 14th century stone font was dug out of the ground, believed to have been buried to protect it during the Commonwealth.
The Commonwealth was the political structure in England from 1649 to 1660 when England and Wales and later Ireland and Scotland were governed as a republic after the end of the Second English Civil War and the trial and execution of King Charles I. After the font was discovered in 1821, it was a further 100 years before it was put back into use and in the year of 1924 it was fully restored back to its original function. It's also one of the finest carved stone fonts in Cheshire today. It's here in the churchyard where we come across the Stanley Mausoleum, a substantial rectangular structure. It's constructed in ashlar sandstone and believed to be based on a Neo-Jacobean style. Built in 1909 and designed by Paul Phillips of London, the mausoleum contains a white marble sarcophagus containing the remains of Edward Stanley and his wife. certainly an imposing building and the opulence reflects the Stanley family who have been associated with Alderley since the 15th century. As with many other churchyards across Cheshire, St Mary's was to suffer at the hand of body snatchers during the 19th century and one ghoulish story remains to be told from the pages of history. For it was here in the year of 1830 when body snatchers exhumed two newly interred bodies of women, one from Great Warford and a young girl of 16 from nearby Stockport. When the body snatchers were brought to trial, it was found that the 1830 statute book didn't make any allowance for body snatching and therefore it wasn't illegal. However, both men were imprisoned for the theft of wedding rings from the dead bodies. Following the 1830 trial, it was decided that all new burials here at St Mary's would have a large boulder placed within the grave. This was done bringing the stones in by horse and cart. However, in later years when the graves were reopened for reuse, many of the stones were once again unearthed. Well, I hope you've enjoyed your visit here with me today to take a look around St Mary's Church here at Nether Audley in Cheshire. 